Absolutely. Dope good. song. Thank you. And we were talking before and I was I um suggested you'd heard it a million times before, but you were like, Hell no, I haven't. So let's go on that. You you were telling us that you literally just let them get on with it, right? Yeah, the the whole idea of this is this program is to work with the, the artist and give them complete creative control. Uh, very little direction from us. Uh, you know, we sort of ask that they don't make a song that's mean to other people. Uh, that's about it, though. And uh, we let go. And uh, they go away, they collaborate, they record, uh, they bring the track to back, to, and then we celebrate it. So uh, I literally just heard uh, heard this version of it, you know, <laughs> just recently. I was going to say, was it like not right now? Like you No, no, no. I heard it uh, yesterday. Oh, I heard the final mix really? yesterday. That, that uh, but I'd, I'd heard a couple different versions of it before, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great track. I mean, how hard is it to give off that kind of creative control? Because it's, I mean, just to give musicians, like, any kind of control, I'm sure that's a difficult thing, because they can go on and on and yeah. go off in different tangents, but, I mean, what what's it like just to be able to go, okay, you guys go off and do your thing? What I think as a brand, we stand for creativity, and we've always, you know, celebrated creative people, and they've really celebrated us. So it's it's been easy for us to let go. We, you know, we make footwear and apparel. And we focus all of our efforts on making great footwear and great apparel. We don't make music. Uh, we're not qualified to make music. So we give them control. We let them go. It's, it's actually quite easy uh, to do. Uh, it's actually really quite easy. Wow, I'm sure that a lot of people can learn from that. Can we talk about this? Three artists, one song. Had, I mean, I know that I've asked a few people, and they're like, ask Jeff, because I think that's comes from you. Where did you come up with that? Oh, uh, it doesn't come from me. It comes from a lot of people uh, that worked on this. This has nothing, really nothing to do with me. It's, uh, we have a great music team. The idea that we had six years ago was, uh, initially the idea was let's bring some artists together and record a song. The original idea was let's bring two, uh, two people together. And uh, we talked about that and thought, you know, a lot of people have done that. Adding a third artist to the mix mm. adds a little bit of creative tension to the process and uh, makes everybody sort of a little bit better. So the idea was, yeah. in competition, maybe. Also. I don't know if it's competition <laughs> as much as it's three yes. people's point of view on a, on a yes. track. Is, uh, it means they're really invested in it and they're really going to work on it to make sure it's right. So it's been an amazing thing for us to watch. Uh, you know, this is our ninth one. And... Uh, you know, everyone is different and unique, and uh, you know this one in particular we're, we're quite proud of. And I noticed when I was watching the little trailer that one of them actually said three employees one song. We did. We did a program. You know, we have a lot of creative people that work at Converse, and uh, so we decided to do a call for content basically and have people send audition tapes in that work for Converse mm. around the around the United States in this in this particular case. So we had three different employees that actually work at our retail stores who are three completely different artists who had never met. We flew them to Brooklyn, we uh, brought them in here, we recorded a track, they had written it in a couple of days, recorded it in a day, we shot a full length music video and released it. So yeah, we did We did one with, with uh, Converse employees. And we treated the release of that exactly okay. like we're treating the release of any of these things, as important and, uh, and something for culture. We're, we're really big on making sure we're contributing to culture, not sponsoring culture. And you're doing that in this very venue, right? Talk to us about this venue, because this is a concept where you're actually giving this studio time up to like aspiring artists to come and record stuff for nothing. Yeah, the idea was uh, we, we talked to artists all over the world and asked them what they needed. If we could do something for you, what, what do you need? And one of our company principles is to be a contributor, so to contribute to the culture that you, that you work and live in. And uh, a lot of them said, gosh, uh, I, I, wanna, I can't get signed by a label until mm. I get a good recording, but I can't get a good recording because I can't afford it until I get signed okay. by a label. So Ooh, there's, that catch 20 Yeah. So the idea was let's open a studio. Let's let artists uh, come in and record absolutely for free. Let's make it a state of the art. So this studio stands up against you know, major studios around the world. Let's give it to people who need it, not famous people. So we don't let famous people come in and record typically. Uh, it's all about the young emerging voices in the world and giving them the opportunity. Beyond that, they retain all the rights to the music. We own none of the rights wow. to the music. This is a complete, uh, a complete, a way for us to completely give back and to let go and to celebrate them.
And that's quite unusual because there are other schemes that have been set up by corporations and things. And then, yeah, you do always think, oh, what's that fine, you know, like, what's the fine print? You know, does all my stuff get retained? And so this is literally you are allowing people to come in and then keep all of this stuff. And then they can go out in the world and use it as they please. Ab absolutely. In fact, you said the word scheme. And that's the one thing we wanted to make sure that it wasn't. I and mean, mm -hmm. we've had artists ask us, what's the catch? And we say the catch is that there's no catch. That we believe if we give you a good experience, we'll build a good relationship with you. And we look at musicians as our core consumer. Mm -hmm. Not people we borrow things for to look cool, but rather people who have made us cool by the things that they've done in our sneakers. So we look at them as consumers and we do something for them and we, and we let go. And we know that they then talk to their social media networks and say nice things about their experience. And, you know, there's, there's no ad in the world could replace, you know, an artist who had a good, a good experience saying that to their, to their fan base. So, we, you know, we believe in that. And just quickly for those who want to um, know about how to, you know, for any aspiring artists out there, what's the application process? You go to converse.com slash rubber tracks. Um, you know, you need to be, it's, I wouldn't say unsigned, but, a, but a, an artist in need, right? An artist that needs access to the studio. Um, and we, we do our best to get as many people and in here as possible. Selecting process. Yeah, and, but we, we purposely bring all different genres of music in here. And uh, so we try to get as many artists in as we can. We've done pop-up studios in 15 cities around the world, Asia, Latin America, Europe, all over the United States. And then we're building a second studio in Boston as part of our new corporate headquarters. So we'll have another one of these so, so that we can meet the needs of, uh, of you know, the emerging artists. So it's converse.com. Thank you so much, yeah, Jeff. Thank you. Nice to meet you. And you too. <laughs> See ya. Lindsay. Lindsay, thank you so much. This is the moment of, I've never had this before, FYI. Thank you so much.